You're about to finish your dinner. Suddenly, the table starts shaking. It feels like an earthquake. You get up and try to get to safety, but it's too late. The ground roars and sounds like the gates of hell are opening. Before you can make a move, your entire home is underground. Here's how to survive your house being swallowed by a sinkhole. Sinkholes are pits in the ground formed when water in the atmosphere reacts with carbon dioxide and forms a slightly acidic water. When it goes underground, it circulates through sediment like limestone, dissolving it. Eventually, this erosion creates big caves full of air or water. When a sinkhole forms, it can be a shock, since the land above it can stay intact for quite some time. The danger comes when the underground caves get too big. When there isn't enough support for the land above the caves, the land suddenly collapses. Luckily, most sinkholes form slowly, and they don't get too big. But what happens when they're massive and unexpected? Should you try to escape or wait for help? How deep can sinkholes get? Are you living on top of a sinkhole right now? The U.S. Geological Survey estimates that 20% of Americans live in areas prone to sinkholes, and Florida has the highest risk. The world's biggest sinkhole is in Shanxi Province, China. It measures 520 meters in diameter and 320 meters deep. But sinkholes are found worldwide, from Japan to the Bahamas and Guatemala. Although it's uncommon for a whole house to be swallowed by a sinkhole, it's definitely possible, especially if you're in sinkhole-prone regions. The thought of your home being devoured by the earth can be unsettling, but here are some tips that will help you live and tell the story. Step one, know where you stand. The best way to survive being swallowed by a sinkhole is to prevent it from happening. Check around your house and yard and look for these signs that a sinkhole may be forming. A circular depression, lake, or deep puddle may appear, or unusual cracks in the pavement, roads, or your foundation. If the rainwater disappears into openings in the ground, that's not good. And watch out for doors and windows that become unusually difficult to open. If you live in an area where sinkholes tend to form, it's crucial to stay vigilant. If a sinkhole appears and it's threatening your home, get out right away. Then contact emergency personnel. But what if the hole is less than a meter in diameter and it's not affecting your home's foundation? Keep monitoring it. If the hole does not get bigger, you can fill it yourself. Step two, hang on for the ride. You couldn't see any signs of a sinkhole forming, but now your house is falling and you're inside. It's too late to run, so get down. Use your arms and hands to cover your head and neck. If you can avoid being hurt as your house falls, it will increase your chance of surviving. Step three, wear a mask. Your house has stopped moving and you survived the fall. First, stretch your shirt over your nose and mouth. It will act like a mask and help prevent dust and dirt from entering your airways. Next, take a deep breath. Controlling your breathing and keeping your airways clear are key to making it out alive. Step four, get in position. There's a high chance you'll be trapped under debris in some of the ground. If it's possible, turn to your side and stay in the recovery position. This keeps your airways open so you won't choke on any vomit or fluid. Step five, keep your spirits up. While you're stuck under the rubble, it helps to stay motivated to survive. Remember all the happy moments in your life and everything you're thankful for. This will give you extra willpower and help you come out of this alive. Step six, use Morse code. This may surprise you, but your goal is not to get out of the sinkhole. Instead, try to survive for as long as possible so emergency help can get to you. I'm in here! Don't waste your time yelling. It's not likely anyone can hear you, so save oxygen and your energy. Instead, wait until you hear voices or movement above you. Then try to move some rubble in rhythmic taps, like knocking a stone against something so first responders can hear it three short taps, followed by three longer taps, followed by three more short taps, is Morse code for SOS, Save Our Souls. Step seven, don't climb the hole. If you landed on top of the rubble, stay where you are, near the middle of the hole. Trying to climb up and out the hole could cause the loose soil on the sides of the walls to fall down on top of you. If you have your phone with you, call for help. 
Hopefully your neighbors have noticed that your house is missing and called the authorities for you. Hang in there, help should be on the way. When it comes to sinkholes, it's better to be prepared and get out beforehand instead of trying to escape after your house collapses into the earth. Hey, what's that? So find out about the ground your house is built on and stay alert for the signs a sinkhole is opening up. Even though you know how to survive a sinkhole, don't tempt fate. The hole might get deeper than you expect. But could you survive if you fell into Thor's well? We can help you with that too here on How to Survive.